All right, man, what is up, you guys? This is your boy, T-Time, and we're back with another video. And if you like this type of content, man, go ahead and like this video, and also, as well, subscribe to the channel, because we'll be covering everything EA College football going forward for the next couple of months till the game comes out. We'll be doing Road to Glory, stuff like that. We'll also be covering GTA 6 as it gets ready to come out, but mostly EA College football is what we'll really be covering the most on this channel. But without further ado, we got a new video for y'all today. I know there's not a lot of news going on right now about the EA College football game. I'm not really expecting any news until probably late April, early May, going into the full reveal. Where in the full reveal, we'll probably have gameplay, what's going to be in the game, so on and so forth. But without further ado, I got a fun video idea for us today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So in this video, we're going to be predicting the top 10 players in this EA College football game. Again, this is not the Bible. This is not 100% correct. This is just a little guess of what I think EA will do. Um, also, as well, a little bit of what I think of these players as well. So a little mixture of both, a little bit of bias. I'll just be honest because it is what I think. And also, as well, a little bit of what I think EA will do as well. But let's go ahead and jump into the video. Now, first up, there were a few honorable mentions that I did not put in um, that just missed the list. T-Mac from Arizona. I mean, really good wide receiver. Um, you know, one of the better wide receivers in college football. I just could not put him on this list. It was just a few more guys that I think are a little bit better now. I think EA will rate a little bit higher than him. Also, as well, another good wide receiver, Emeka Abuka. I have him right off the list as well at 91 overall. I had T-Mac at 92 overall. I also, as well, had the two Georgia guys, Carson Beck at a 92 overall and Malachi Starks at a 92 overall. So those are the guys that are just off the list for me. Now we're going to start and get into our countdown here. At number 10, we have Harold Perkins, outside linebacker or middle linebacker, really, for the LSU Tigers. I think this guy's going to be extremely talented. I'm not going to lie. If this game would have came out last year, he probably would have been a 96 overall for me. He was tremendous his freshman year. Took a little bit of a step back last year, so that's why his rating is a little lower. But I think he's still going to be one of the better defensive players in this game. I have him ranked as a 92 overall. All right, at number nine, we're staying with the LSU Tigers, man. I have offensive tackle Will Campbell coming in at a 93 overall. He's probably going to be the second highest rated um, offensive tackle in this game. We'll get to the other one later on in this list. But I think he's going to be really good. Again, I know it's not sexy to put offensive linemen up here, but I'm telling you this guy's probably going to be a top 10 pick in this upcoming draft this year. And I think – EA is going to look at that as well and look at everything that he's accomplished in his career. And he's going to be pretty highly rated, man. I have him at a 93 overall. At number eight, this one might be a little controversial. I have Quinn Ewers at a 94 overall. Um, I think he's a really good player. I'm not going to lie. I do think he is a little bit overhyped. But I think EA is probably going to overhype him a little bit too. Um, so I could definitely see him even being higher than this 94. But I have him at a 94, man. Um, I mean, obviously, he's been a starter for the last, what now, two years. Um, I think he's going to be a really good player for them. And honestly, man, I, I think that, you know, what he's proved, he got him to the playoffs last year. Uh, coming off injuries, he did have some injury issues, but he still had a pretty decent year this past year. Not great, but decent. I think that, you know, he's going to be pretty high rated in this game. And just off of marketability alone, man, he's one of the well-known names in college football. I think EA is going to rate him pretty high. All right, man, at number seven, we have Shador Sanders, a 94 overall, man, one of the biggest faces in college football. I think this guy is going to be really, really good in this game. I think this game is made for a team like Colorado, which we'll talk about later on in another video. But I think Shador Sanders is going to be one of the more accurate quarterbacks in this game because he really is accurate in real life as well. Um, but I'm not going to lie, man. I have him at 94 overall. Some people may disagree with that. Some people may agree. I know he's a polarizing character either you really like uh Shador or you don't you know he's a really polarizing character so I am kind of interested to see where they rank him but I would have him at a 94 overall at six overall I have Kelvin Banks offensive tackle for the Texas Longhorns which I was mentioning him earlier in this video that he was going to be you know the the highest rated tackle in this game again probably another guy that's going to be a top five to ten pick in the up and coming draft this upcoming season and I'm telling you now he's really talented he showed a lot of you know, talent while he's been at Texas. And I think they're going to probably rate him high because they think he's going to probably go high in the draft as well, like many people think. I think he's going to be a pretty high, highly rated guy. And I got him coming in at number six. 
All right, so at number five, I'm not going to lie, this is going to be a little bit of a cheat because I got two people at 95, and I just thought about a guy I have to put on this top 10 list. So there'll technically be 11 people on this top 10 list, but I don't care. I have to put this guy in here. At number five, I'm putting James Pierce Jr. from Tennessee on this list at 95. He was one of the best defensive ends in the country last year, especially towards the end of the season. He's probably going to be a top five pick if he continues to play like how he played this past season. I have to put him in here. I think he's going to be really good. They're probably going to have him at a 95 overall as well because he's a junior. And the other person I had at 95 overall was Ollie Gordon. So they're going to have to share this spot. I know. I just thought about it. I was a little, you know, I thought I forgot about James Pierce. He needs to be on this list. I had to put him tied at five, both 95 overalls. All right, man. So also at a 95 overall, I have safety from Ohio State, Caleb Downs. Now, I'm not going to lie. If he was a senior or a junior, He'd be a 99 overall. But I know how EA does. The lower your classification is, the lower they rank you. To be honest with you, that's just how they've always done it. Um, so I have him at a 95 overall. I think he's one of the better defensive players in the country. Um, like I said, I think he was the best player at Bama last year. And I have him at a 95 overall. He's going to be a big difference maker for the Buckeyes in the new year college football game. At number three, I have Missouri wide receiver Luther Burton, man. This guy's an absolute burner, man. He makes plays all over the field. Him and Brady Cook cooked up a lot last year, man, no pun intended. And, man, I'm telling you now, he's going to be a fun one to play with on this game, man. And he's just a dynamic playmaker, man. That's really just what he does. He's a playmaker, and he makes plays. And you've seen it a lot for Missouri this year. I mean, they had their best year in program history in a while to be honest with you. Um, so, once again, Luther Burton was one of the main reasons for that, and I think he's going to be a 96 overall in this game. At number two, you could argue is the best corner in the game. I have Michigan Wolverines, Will Johnson at a 96 overall. I think this guy's going to be a top 10 pick in the draft next year. Probably the best corner in college football, to be honest with you, just pure corner. And I'm telling you now, he's going to be highly rated. He's going to be able to shut down one side of the field on EA College Football Game and in real life. He's done it before. I'm telling you now, Will Johnson will be rated probably 96, 97. And he's a junior on top of that. He will be rated pretty high. I don't have anybody at the 99 Club. So before we get to number one, I do want to let that be known. Nobody made the 99 Club this season. And at number one, I think this was pretty self-explanatory by the thumbnail. Travis Hunter will be the highest rated player on this game at a 97 overall. And that's because he can play both sides of the ball. And he's really good at both, at wide receiver and also as well corner. I have him as a 97 overall. I think this game is just fit for a team like, you know, Colorado. And I think it's going to be fun to play with, you know, Travis Hunter on both sides of the ball, defensively and offensively. So I have him as my highest rated player on this game. So that is the end of the video, man. What do you guys think? Do you agree with my rankings? And if you don't agree, please let me know in the comments, man. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and like the video as well. And until next time, guys, we'll see you again. We appreciate the love and support.